produced by Free Grace International in partnership with the Grace Evangelical Society. Hi, my name is Sean Lazar with Grace Evangelical Society. One of the questions that we get asked most often is, how can I go to heaven when I die? And that's a question on a lot of people's minds. I mean, a lot of people believe in God or in their religion because they know that there is life after death and they want to make sure that they go to the right place. Well, we believe that after you die, you go to be with Jesus or not. And the question is, how can you make sure that after you die, you're going to go to be with Jesus forever? Well, broadly speaking, there are two options in the world today. And John's Gospel talks about these two options of being saved. In John 1.17, it says, For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. There are two options. You either have the law way or you have the grace way. And I got to tell you, most religions believe that you can go to heaven when you die by following some kind of law or another. And you might be very well familiar with this. You've, you know the to-do lists of religion. Preachers will say you need to follow these commandments, or you need to avoid these foods, or you need to celebrate these holidays, or you need to wear this type of special clothing, or go to these special worship services, or give money. Recently, I, I, I heard some uh, pastors from Africa saying, if you don't give money to the church, then you cannot be saved. And so, even among Christians, there are people who think you can be saved by obeying the law. And you might be familiar with law-based spirituality and you might be very burnt out on it because the problem is we never really quite live up to it. The other option though is instead of having a law way of salvation is a grace way of salvation. And I want to talk to you about both the law and the grace way of salvation. Let's think about the problem of the law. Paul talked about it in Romans 3.20. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, who's going to be justified? No flesh will be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. Law cannot save you. It has no power to make you do what it demands. All it can do is demand and condemn you for not doing it. And so preachers who preach law, all they're doing is preaching a demand without giving you the power to fulfill it. And it's kind of like saying... Uh, some, some, what some preachers do to kind of uh, lessen the demand of the law is they fudge it a little. Jesus said the law demands be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. So perfection is the demand of the law. But sometimes preachers fudge that and they say, well, you don't need to be perfect. You just need to do the best that you can. You just need to be better than average. You just need to do some good deeds, enough good deeds to just kind of weigh on the, the balance of good and evil just to be a little bit better uh, than bad. But that's not what the law demands. Law demands perfection. And the condemnation of the law is that no one will be justified in God's sight by, by fulfilling these these commandments because no one fulfills them. Have you ever felt this kind of sense that, man, I am not living up to God's demands? Well, that's exactly how you should feel because the purpose of the law is to reveal your sin. Why, why would God want to reveal your sin? Because when you realize that you cannot save yourself by law, you cry out for grace. And that is the way of salvation that God provides for us through Jesus Christ. You couldn't save yourself by works. So God sends Jesus to save you by Jesus' works so that you can have salvation for free. And that's called grace. Paul talks about that in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith. Notice it's not through law, it's through believing. And that, not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works. See, salvation is not of works, not of your works. It's of Jesus' work. God is completely satisfied with what Jesus did at the cross so that he can just give you eternal life for free. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. God doesn't want you boasting in how you saved yourself, but he does want you to boast in Jesus' amazing grace that he gave to you. Uh, by dying on the cross for you, raising again on the third day, so that now He can give you eternal life for free, by grace, through faith, apart from works. If you want to go to heaven when you die, the only thing that you need to do is to believe in Jesus for that free gift. That's the only thing that's required. Yes, you should do good to your neighbor because your neighbor's 
need your good works. They need your help. We all need help. But those good works do not contribute to your salvation. They do not help you keep your salvation, and they do not prove your salvation. Your salvation is entirely by grace, through faith, apart from works. Thanks for listening. Produced by Free Grace International, in partnership with the Grace Evangelical Society. For more Free Grace content, visit GES's website at faithalone.org and FGI's website at freegrace.in.